Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist. And I was asked this question. How do I know when I fill out a Google form and I hit the submit button that it actually went in? I'm going to show you some ways you can know that in this video. Well, number one, let me make sure you're absolutely clear. Hopefully, the only form that you are filling out through the internet, a Google form you're filling out, is someone is a form that you know who sent it to you. You know the company, you trust and respect them. You know the individual, you trust and respect them. Do not fill out any form that you find anywhere on the internet that you do not know who the company is and or who the human is. And by the way, you can do you can find forms all over the internet. Check this out. I can do a site search for uh, Google Forms personal info. This is just a site search into the folder docsgoogle.com slash forms. And look at this, 3,000 forms I found that have the words personal information. Google form sign in. This is not a Google form sign in. This is an Atlas personal page info. And look at this. First, all this information they're asking for. I don't know who this person is. So never bump into or find a Google form on the internet that you do not know who the company is. That you you know they pre presented it to you. They emailed it to you. You had a conversation with someone. They said we need you to fill out this this form. Never, ever fill out a Google form unless you know who the person is. Now, let's go back to the top. So it, that's the only surefire way that you're going to know that your form is submitted because if you know who the human is, you know who the company is, then you can follow up with them and confirm that they got that information. Now, there's a better answer, but this better answer lies on the desk of the person who creates the form to make it happen. Let me show you what the better answer is. The new normal, the new normal for creating forms is to go to settings, turn on collect email addresses, and send the responder back a copy of their response. Because if they're collecting your email address and they're sending you a copy of your response, then you will clearly know that you filled out that form when you get the information back yourself. Because there's no way on the form for you to know who this who this is. Who's the company that sent this to me? Who's the individual sent to me? You're not going to know that. So the only way you're going to know it is know A, the source of the form, and B, if they enabled, send the responder back a copy of their response. There is one other option that would allow you to verify that your form was submitted. And that is if the creator of the form allows response editing. So you could turn on that and not have to have on collect email addresses. I, I recommend collect email addresses. I recommend sending back a response. But without that, or with or without that, I can allow response editing. So if I turn that on, when the user goes to fill out the form, they can fill it all out however they want and submit it and then they can edit their response and when they edit that response it'll pull up what you submitted and so that it gets and so you can verify what you did and as well make adjustments i'm teddy burris your google workspace and gmail strategist and i hope this is helpful for you